2,000 years ago, there was a man who was feared by all. He was a man who wiped out all nations and could obliterate millions with his gaze for years. The people of that era worshipped him as the demon king of tyranny, as he slayed both man and gods. One day, the demon king decided to end his life so he could be reborn 2,000 years later to reclaim his rightful place as the king of all fast forward to the present generation, which is the reincarnation time of the demon king. The kingdom of Dilhade patiently awaits the new demon king of tyranny to be awakened so they can rejoice with joy and happiness. <laughs> The present day is the first day of the entrance examination into the Demon Academy. Mission Ekron, a very shy mage, makes her way to the prestigious school as her parents shout encouraging words to her. She's interrupted by a bold and audacious young man with nice eyes. He introduces himself to the shy lady and walks her to school at the school gate. A bullying named Zips from the noble family Indus teases Mrs. Entourage and commands some respect from him. The young man who fears no one faces him and subdues Zips with a compulsion spell. Then he continues moving forward with Misha. The first matchup in the physical entrance exam is between Zapes and Mishes, and Turek the two face each other in a sealed arena as expected. The do exchange some banter before kickstarting their match. Zapes brings out his magic sword and lights it on fire. Mishes in Turek breathes out a little and puts out the fire. Then he calls Zaped Relic Sword, Fake, and handicaps himself. The young man later identified as Anos Voldegode, stands in one position and destroys Zapes. Zapes keeps his form and refuses to surrender himself to Anos. Anos makes him a bet, help keep wounding Zeeps until he begs for forgiveness. Zapes doesn't listen, so Anos accidentally kills him. To everyone's surprise, Announce begins killing and resurrecting Zapes until he falls flat and surrenders to end the match. The next test is the magic assessment. Anos breaks the scale and passes in flying colors. Next is the aptitude test. Anos and Misha both go in to get tested and both pass excellently, a few hours before dark. Anos meets up with Misha and takes her to his home. In town, he introduces Misha to his boisterous parents, and they both dote around Anos and his new friend later on. They all have a wonderful dinner. Anos' mother talks with Misha and gets very happy when Misha responds in such a nice tone. After dinner, Anos walks Misha back home on their way. Misha asks Anos who he really is. Anos talks down on himself and leaves out the important details. After hearing about the pain Anos has been in Misha, decides to become his friend. As the two discuss, someone uses creation magic to build an arena around where Anos and Misha stand. Just then, Zapes and his older brother come out to take revenge on Anos for humiliating the Indus family. Zapes gets very proud of his elder brother, but his elder brother eliminates him for being a weakling. Then, he activates his magic and faces Anos to fight him. Anos uses his own magic to dispel his opponent's magic, Zapes. Brother gets very annoyed and activates his highest power. Of course, this doesn't have any effect on Thanos as he himself is pretty strong. Anos infuses Zeep's corpse with some magic and brings him back to life as a zombie. Zape's corpse charges at his elder brother with tremendous power to kill him. The older brother asks Anos what he can do to prevent getting killed by Zeep's corpse. Anos tells him to reconcile with Zephs, eventually Zapes, and his older brother reconcile right before they die. Again together, Anos resurrects the two of them and makes his name known to the brothers as the true demon king. Anos Voldegode in a flashback to the mythical age. 2,000 years ago, Anos discusses the weaknesses of the human race and their thirst for making enemies with the human hero. Canine, Anos tells Canon he's willing to join forces with him so they could both bring about true world peace. To do this, Canon would have to kill Thanos and take all of his magical power to end the feud between humans and demons. Canon reluctantly accepts Anos's offer and activates a magic spell before killing him at the point of death. Anos thanks Canon for doing this and asks him to find him 2,000 years. From then, what he's fully reincarnated 2,000 years later. Anna's Voldegode is born a very weird baby, 
who could talk to his goofy parents in just one month of being born. Anos grows up to be an athletic young man in the present day. Anos attends his first class in the academy with Misha. He puts on the white-colored uniform alongside Misha, because they both don't hail from the demon clan before class begins. Misha tells Anos that he's the first misfit to be accepted into the Demon King Academy. She also tells him about the founding family of the Demon King clan, which was started by the Demon King himself. Avos Deli via Anos knows the name is wrong for the Demon King. Still, he keeps his cool and continues talking with Misha a few minutes later. Sasha Necron Misha's bossy sister walks into the class with the teacher class. Starts with a lecture about guys, a true magic spell that enhances the combat power of selected groups. After explaining the specifics, the teacher asks anybody interested to raise his hands. Anos is the only hybrid to raise his hands with the Demon Royals. This surprises the teacher, who later tells him he's not eligible to be part of such an aptitude. Anos decides to prove to the teacher that he's better than everyone there. He walks to the board and increases the power of the guy's spell. This performance forces the teacher to accept Anos as a candidate for the aptitude test. Next up, the teacher asks the students to divide themselves into two teams with their leaders. Sasha and Anos both introduce themselves as the leaders of their respective teams. Once the class is over, Sasha walks over to Anos. She insults Misha right in front of Anos and incurs his wrath. Anos bites back at Sasha and disrespects her in front of the class. Sasha gets super angry at Anos and uses her demonic eyes of destruction on the demon. King himself, Anos retaliates and activates an even more powerful demon eye magic. Sasha folds up and leaves after school. Sasha meets up with Anos and challenges him to a duel between their teams. If she wins, she gets to keep Anos. However, if Anos wins, she'll join his team. Anos likes the idea of having Sasha on his team, so he signs a Zet contract with him and gets right down to it. A week later, the two teams faced each other. Anos only has Misha on his team, and Sasha has over five. The two teams split off to their positions and create their fortress. While Sasha plays by the book, Anos simply walks over her base and destroys her entire fortress. Sasha refuses to give up. She gets back up and red knights the fighting spirit in her team. Together, they all use their magic powers to cook up Geo Grace, a team magic spell that directs a powerful attack at the enemy. Ano stands still and counters their magic with a little fireball. Anos gets to Sasha's base and makes her kneel. At his feet, Sasha still tries to kill him, but Anos blocks her magic. She whines a bit about her defeat until she's forced to accept defeat. Anos welcomes her to his team before she leaves. Anos makes her blush by commending her beautiful eyes that night. Anos takes both Misha and Sasha to his home. His parents are so psyched their sons could land. Two royal princesses to be his dates. The family has a very wonderful dinner, and everyone has a good time when they're done. Anos packs some food for the girls and escorts them to their homes at their house gate. Anos gets to have his time alone with Sasha. She thanks him for helping her get back with Misha. Anos tells her it's nothing and gives her some like advice. Sasha gets so flustered that she kisses Anos on the lips before he leaves. Then she retires to her home and calls it a night. One night, Sasha and her sister Misha discuss Anos. Misha gets the feeling Sasha liked Thanos and asks her about it. Sasha sheepishly tells her no. She then tells Misha that Anos looked just like Misha when she was younger. The sisters bond that night as they reminisce over old times. As it turns out, Sasha was blessed or cursed with the demon eyes to take revenge on her enemies. However, she never learned to control it when she was much younger. Everyone was scared of her. Everyone except Misha, who made sure to be there for her sister. Sasha lets her know she appreciates her efforts the next day at school. Sasha joins Misha and Anos at their seats. Sasha tells Anno she'd like to bring her former teammates to Anos's team. However, Anos tells her he's good with just the three of them when class starts, the teacher introduces one of the seven elders of the Demon King into the class. 
So it turned out, Anos infused his blood into seven elders 2,000 years ago before he died. To keep the peace of the land, Lord Ibis Necron walks in, covered in a cloak, to present himself to the students. Anos greets his old-time friend and shocks everybody. Ibis, who has no memory of his past, asks Anos who he was. Anos realizes he'd have to work some magic to make Ivis remember. He lays his hand on Ivis' head and finds out his memories are far gone. Class continues as usual with Ivis teaching the students about some ancient secret magic after class. Ivis meets with Thanos to talk. He asks the Demon King about the magic he did to him back in class. Anos tells him he used the revive magic spell to rewind time and find out Ivis's origin. Turns out the name he met there was Elvos, Delihevia. Anos wonders who tampered with history and changed his name. Ivis tells Anos that he'd remain neutral in the meantime, since he can't really put two and two together, and leaves Anos alone. Anos finds Misha's emblem and takes it to her. He finds her in the yard, checking out an envelope from her real parents as they talk. They overhear Sasha and her former teammates arguing over her sudden change in teams someone disrespect. Thanos and Sasha makes him pay. A few hours later, the competition begins. This competition entails the teams getting down to the lower levels of the Demon King's castle to find rare relics and then bringing them back to the surface for grading. The team who finds the rarest of the relics wins the competition. Anos remembers his castle very well and takes the two girls down to the lowest level. Sasha gets very skeptical about Anos' knowledge of the castle. However, Anos leads them all the way down to the lowest level. Without breaking a sweat, when they get to the altar in the lowest room, they find the scepter, the rarest object to find in the castle. Anos takes Misha to another room filled with luxurious jewelry and clothing. Anos asks Misha to pick one for herself and Sasha. Misha picks up a beautiful robe and presents it to Sasha. Turns out it's their birthday in a few days, and Misha wanted Sasha to get a nice gift from her. Sasha collects the gift and asks to be excused. Anos leaves them together and gives them some time to change. When he's done, he gets outside and finds Misha stabbed in the chest and unconscious, apparently, Sasha had stabbed Misha and taken the scepter for herself. Keeps calm and asks her why she did what she did. At first, Sasha tries to be sassy about things and insults Thanos ain't no size. Anos tells her she could have done better than just killing Misha. He lectures Sasha on some evil ways to dispose of someone, but Sasha quits being on his team and insults Anos again. Then she activates conditioning magic to forbid Anos from harming her and saving Misha. Just as she's about to leave, Anos heal. Misha captures Sasha and dispels the conditioning magic. Sasha is surprised at how Anos outplayed her and Anos explains the whole thing to her and proceeds to harm her. However, Misha stands up and asks Anos to let Sasha go. Sasha immediately heads straight for the surface, leaving Misha and Anos before they leave. Anos asks Misha to tell them her real story and why Sasha hates her so much. Misha tells Anos that she's fated to disappear from existence on the night of her 15th birthday. Apparently, Misha wasn't supposed to exist in the first place. While she was a fetus, Ivis used a separating spell to share some of Sasha's soul with Misha, so she could be born as a human. Anos sighs at this nasty thing and wonders what Ivis had planned for the girls. Anos figures it out. Ivis wanted to create a strong enough specimen to revive the powerful demon race, explains things to Misha, and she understands. Misha tells Anno she's never been favored by anybody, until Anno spoke to her. For the first time, she tells Anno he's the first friend she's ever had since she was born. Anos makes his resolve and promises to change Misha's fate, one way or another. Misha believes him and urges him to find Sasha. They find Sasha trying to get back up to the surface and stop her. Misha asks her twin sister to tell her whether or not she truly hates her. Before answering, Sasha challenges Anos to a duel. If he wins, she answers Misha. And if she wins, he'll become her slave. Anos agrees to the terms and gets right to it as expected. Anos wins the duel and lets the girls have their time together. When it's time, Sasha smiles and tells Misha that she never for once hated Misha. 
She confesses that she's been searching for a way to reverse their curse since she was little. The only solution she came up with is for her to make Misha hate her well enough so she can use a Zex spell to make herself disappear instead. Now that it's almost ready, all Misha needs to do is reject Sasha and the magic would be activated. Sasha asks Misha to make her wish come true and reject Sasha's existence. That was the only way she could pay her twin sister back for her help. Still, Misha refuses to reject Sasha, as she too wanted to disappear from the face of the earth and protect her twin sister. Anos watches the two sisters cry and hug each other in their last moments together. He decides he's going to help them. Anos tells Misha and Sasha that he uses revived magic to go back in time, 15 years back, and divide their life source into four parts and share two with both sisters. That's the only way he can help them out. Sasha and Misha immediately agree to his plan. At least they have a chance. However, before Anos makes his move, Ivis rushes in and slashes Anos. Anos takes care of him and gets right back to fixing both sisters as he starts up the spell. The time god appears to stop him from disrupting the time flow. Anos warns him to stay away from his business. But the time God decides to punish Anos for going against the flow of time, he rewinds. Ivis time heals his wounds and pits him against Anos and the girls. Now Ivis is more powerful than ever. Anno shows no fear instead. He defends against all of Ivis' attacks. The girls get very scared but Anos tells them to believe in him. Just then, Ivis appears behind Anos and stabs him in the stomach, thinking he's dead. Ivis rejoices over beating the infamous Demon King. Anos resurrects himself and keeps on fighting. Ivis invokes a time-pausing spell, thinking that'll stop Anos. Anos uses his pristine power to deal with Ivis. Once and for all, Ivis gives the fight everything he's got, but Anos is just too strong. He knocks Ivis down and completes the spell on the two girls in a matter of minutes. Anos changes the fate of Sasha and Misha as they emerge as new beings. Anos gives his full attention to Ivis. He summons his sword and slashes the unfaithful subject a thousand times with Ivis gone. The room reverts back to normal. Anos resurrects Ivis and becomes Norm again. He apologizes for his actions and meals. To his king, Anos restores Ivis' memories from 2,000 years ago and tasks him to investigate the people tampering with his history about that time Sasha and Misha emerge from the spell as new beings. Sasha hugs her sister dearly and thanks for making the two of them whole again. Anos gives Misha a gift and finally wishes her a happy birth. Sasha gets back to her normal behavior again and gets teased by Anos 2,000 years ago. Anos and his right-hand man Shin once faced a water goddess. Anos prepares himself to take down the water goddess, but Shin asks his king to let him take the goddess down. Anos makes a deal with Shin if he's able to take down the goddess with one slash, then he gets a reward of his choosing. Shin lunges forward and destroys the goddess in one swoop. Anos holds up his end of the deal. He asks Shin what he wants, and Shin says he'd like to be reincarnated in another era, so he could once again serve with his master. Anos warns him of the risks, but Shin goes for it anyway in the present day. Sasha joins Anos and Misha in class. Before class starts, the teacher tells the class about the transfer student they're having at the Demon Academy that day. She continues on to tell the class that Anno's team scepter had been stolen from the school before she could grade it so they don't get their full marks. Sasha and a hybrid student named Miss A protest this, but the teacher makes her decision final. Anos just smiles, walks to one of the students, and pulls the scepter out of his chair. Turns out the teacher had asked one of the students to steal and hide the weapon so she can grade Anos's team. Less. Anos exposes the teacher and retrieves the scepter after after class. Misa rushes to thank Anos for helping her out back there. She also asks Anos to let her join his team. Anos, however, tells her she have to prove she's worthy first, before he allows her in. He then asks her about her Unitarian club, and Misa takes into her club. The Unitarian club, aka Anos fan, Anos and his subordinates, 
finally arrive at the fan club to see his fans. Everyone falls in love at first sight, unseeing the handsome devil following the necessary greetings and introductions. Misa takes Anos and Sasha to her room. There she tells him her origin story. Apparently Misa is a hybrid between a demon, pure blood, and a spirit. She shows Anos and his team an artifact her father dropped for her on one of her birthdays. Up next, the whole class arrives at the swordsmanship training ground. To test their strengths, their teachers, Gaios and Idol, challenge the students to pull out swords from the ground. Anyone who can get that done in time would get trained by them. Naturally, Anos is the first person to pull out a sword. The transfer student pulls out his sword. Next, Idol and Gaios get to fight Anos and the transfer student on, only to get absolutely pummeled in the next class. The transfer student introduces himself as Lei and asks to join Anos's team. Anos refuses to let him join and instead challenges him to fight against him in a duel between his team and Lace. Lei tells him he doesn't have a team. Next day, the two teams are in the magic forest to begin their challenge. Lei gets together with his team and tells them to fight Sasha and Misha. While he fights Anos himself on the other side, Anos tasks his subordinates with beating the other team while he fights Lei. Once they got the plan, Anos teleports himself to Lei and challenges him to a duel. Lei happily accepts the challenge as the two get right to it. Misa and her team build a giant golem to fight Sasha and Misha. However, the two powerful twin sisters destroy it with their Geo Grace, magic missing. Gets out of the golem to fight Sasha one on one. She's cornered by Misa and her team, but Misha joins her shortly and uses her magic with her. Together, the twin sisters join their ice and fire magic powers to take down Misha and her team. In the meantime, the fight between both legends becomes more heated. Both Anos and Lei seem to be having a good time as they both went all out in the end. Anos beats Lei after their fight. Lei tells Anos he gets this feeling they've both met before. Anos tells him they might have met 2,000 years ago as different people lay smiles and wonders if there was some truth to what Anos just said.